Module 1, Lesson 5, HBAA Member Obligations. This lesson details the obligations which are to be observed by both agent members and venue members. It's abiding by these obligations that will ensure the industry maintains the highest standards of service, ethics and customer care and avoids any suggestion of professional misconduct. Although many of these obligations may sound a little obvious, it's important that they are reviewed so that every member is fully aware of the expected standards and cannot claim to have not been informed. For brevity, when speaking of obligations that are relevant to both venue members and agent members, I'll simply use the word members. Firstly, members must not engage in conduct which may seriously prejudice the standing and reputation of the accommodation, meetings and or events profession or of the HBAA itself. For example, members must maintain confidentiality and not use or disclose to any third party any confidential information derived from another member without their consent. To ensure everyone within your organisation is aware of the Code of Conduct, you're obliged to distribute it throughout your organisation and to train all appropriate staff on the information and obligations it contains. One way to help ensure compliance is to have every member of staff complete this training course. Members must agree to have their principal directors, partners or senior representatives attend at least 50% of HBAA meetings. This is important as the value of the meeting is exponentially increased by the number of members present and is the way in which the HBAA can effectively communicate essential information to its members. So that the HBAA can quickly resolve issues raised with their respective organisations, it's really important that members advise the HBAA of key contacts within their organisation and their contact details. If you have any changes to personnel in relation to these contacts, you're obliged to notify us without delay. Let's now take a quick look at commissions. Although the rate of commission between an agent member and a venue member is a matter of commercial negotiation, in a situation where commission is due and no rate of commission has expressly been agreed, it's important to have a recommended minimum rate of commission. This commission rate should start to be negotiated and expressed on the VAT exclusive rate, which is between 9.5 and 10%. It's recommended that, unless otherwise agreed, Commission shall be paid on accommodation, room hire, delegate rates, whether day or 24-hour rates, food that was pre-booked prior to arrival, and beverage, whether booked by the member or the client. To avoid any misunderstanding in these matters, agent members must identify themselves at the outset of negotiations as booking agents and state clearly their requirement for commission if no existing arrangement is in place. Also, agency members mustn't claim bookings as their own and claim commission from a venue member when the initial inquiry and provisional booking was made by the client directly to the venue. Members must provide statistical management information upon request to the HBAA. To ensure the smooth running of the HBAA and avoid the need to tie up resources in chasing membership fees, it's mandatory to settle them on the due date. We take this very seriously and reserve the right to expel members who have not paid their annual fees within 30 days of the due date. As a member of the HBAA, you are free to use the HBAA logo and reference to membership on your website, printed matter and other marketing collateral. In fact, we require you to have the logo on all promotional materials within 12 months of joining. However, if you were to subsequently leave the association, either by resignation, non-renewal or expulsion, you would be required to remove the logo and membership references within 30 days.